If you've had a heart attack in the past and you have a second heart attack, that's a much more serious situation because you've already had some damage to the heart muscle from the first heart attack and then you, now you're adding additional damage with the second heart attack. That may weaken the heart muscle substantially and may produce symptoms of heart failure, fatigue, shortness of breath, and may reduce the life expectancy. The approaches to reduce a second heart attack are exceedingly important. When a patient comes in with a first heart attack, we identify all of the risk factors that we can modify, and we work with the patient to improve that situation. So for instance, if a patient smokes and has had a first heart attack, we work uh, hard with them to get them to stop smoking. We can use medication and other approaches. If the cholesterol is high, we have wonderful drugs that can lower the cholesterol and dramatically reduce the risk of a second heart attack. Same thing with blood pressure. If the blood pressure is initially very high, we can give medicines to bring that blood pressure down. The other thing that's so important in reducing the risk of a second heart attack is exercise. Exercise is hugely important in improving the outcome of patients who have had a first heart attack.